Good morning. Come on in. We're going to talk about shaving soaps. Do you have your coffee? We have our first one for Gentleman's Nod today. Our first soap. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We're the barbershop duet. And we're the newbies. We yes. know nothing so far. We're just entering About this world. About soaps in, maybe? Yeah. yeah. So as we're reaching out to interview some of the artisans, they are letting us know that it's kind of important to them that we experience their scent in a couple of different forms. So Chris at Gentleman's Nod yes. was so sweet, and he threw in a small sample of the EDP yes. that we are about to experience the scent of today. So interestingly, yeah, like this one had the same scent, I thought, in the shaving soap and the bar soap, but it was really different in the the aftershave. So we're kind of lucky today we get to experience yeah. our new scent in two different forms. And we're so excited because we've heard such wonderful things about Gentleman's Nod. Yes. You ready to meet the soap? I am. <laughs> So, we're having a lot of fun visiting all of the artisans' websites for the yes. first time and choosing a soap, and it's a tough decision to choose one, but we kind of want to spread can. out our resources <laughs> a little bit for season one. We failed miserably with Gentleman's Nod. Miserably. Uh, because I already wanted half of the soaps, but <laughs> the names of some of these particular soaps had a crazy, weird connection to Sarah. We they did. About- and so, we, you know, we kept going back and forth. We couldn't decide on one, so we just went all three. <laughs> all three. That were connected. So, first one was Vincent, which is my last name, and then Johnny is also my dad's first name, and it's right. spelt correctly So, we're going to put both of those next to each other so in the Johnny cabinet. Vincent. And then, another one was based from a, uh, an area in Spain, and it's actually Actually, where my grandma is from. So Johnny's mom. Yeah, Johnny's mom, Mercedes. In fact, uh, you're seeing a picture of her right now. This is Sarah's grandmother, Mercedes. Yes. So clearly connected to the Vincent side of my family. We couldn't just pick one. No, uh, we got to get all three. Sorry. So, so we're excited that today's episode is going to be a little bit different because we get to experience a scent in two forms. Yes. But first, we have to unbox. We got to get this thing out of the box. <laughs> I'm a sucker for stickers. <laughs> I like stickers. So as soon as we uh, lifted the box up, this, ta-da! Look at we knew logo. which one this was from. Look at their company logo. It's just beautiful. It's very classy. All right. So we kind of opened this box just all that so we knew what there, arrived. Since you know, there's a few in there. So yeah. I wanted to make sure we grabbed the right one for today. Right, but they are all wonderfully oh, wrapped. Look at that. With lots of care. Fantastic. Can you find the one that... I, I kind of cheated and this? snuck it on top because okay, I didn't want to have to... All right. Let's see. Give away all our surprises. Now, the, when I saw the reviews online, the label was just beautiful. Yeah, oh, that, and it does not disappoint. It's just... Gorgeous, oh, all the colors, that. and it has another side label. I love the side label. Very, very fancy. I'm getting an appreciation for the side label. And then, let me see if I put it in the right I'm spot I'm going to take the here. plastic off while we're doing that. Sealed for your protection. Yes, yes. Uh, and then, this is, I think, if I grab the white one. There we go. There's multiple. Oh. I was trying not oh, to. Oh, wow. So, so it's I think clearly these are... labeled. Wow. Maybe these are extra fun ones. Ah, look. these are other just... Look at that! That's so cool. All right. I always get so nervous. I know. It's just so pretty from the picture. I think it can't You be. imagine what it smells like, and then you get to smell it. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, you go first. I'm glad you picked your orange shirt. There's definitely a lot of orange I'm on this e- label. Yeah, right? I'm excited. Oh, it's oh. beautiful. Show the pour. Oh, it's yeah, fun to see how each that. artisan does the pour. I know. Right? Okay, go for it. Me? Yeah. Oh wow! It's run <laughs> I It's kind of familiar. I mean, I've never is been it? there, but it's. I'm trying to figure out what in it is familiar. It's. I mean, it's wonderful. Oh. Oh, Chris. I'm immediately like outdoor. This, it's colorful. This doesn't hit you in the face. This moves in a little slowly. That's why I went back to like. How'd this? you do that? This is not, I, I expected it to be like, <laughs> but it was like. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. You know how sometimes we say that scents are complex. This one just has a, like lots of layers. 
Maybe. Oh, for sure. I, I, my brain is still getting to know this a little bit. I, I still haven't made up my mind. Does it make sense that it seems familiar though? But it's just. Yeah. But it's, not an indoor. It's mm-mm. an outdoor. It's outside. And it's really fresh. It's like a blooming. I really thought I'd be hit with flowers first, but I'm, I'm not. I don't think. Right. It is floralish, but it's yeah. not like. And you know what? As long as from we the are pictures. Doing, why don't you? Who's lathering today? Who I'm lathering those? today. Okay, you take this. I'll take this. You take I that. I get to make a lather. <laughs> All right. Oh oh oh! As I'm doing things. Yeah, it's it's you know from the pictures you oh, just see all of the flowers. Soft, but it's not. It's a soft soap. I love ah, that. Okay. Oh. I'm getting something crisp in there now. Yeah, crisp is a good word. Is that a good I kept thinking fresh, but crisp is a good word. See what you get. Wow. You know, like when the fog just wears off and the sun's coming out? Oh, yeah. Like there's that, you know. And it starts to just kind of pull the water out of everything. But it reacts, with the sunlight. you know, the, yeah. it reacts to that. Oh, there's way more to this now. It's funny. Like this picture really does. Oh, there is even water in the picture. Oh, yeah, I wonder. There is. Oh, wow. This has got even more complex. Sometimes when when I lather, I find that you can more easily identify the different notes. But this thing seems to just go a little deep. Okay, I know this is kind of creepy. Well, not creepy. Maybe cool. Uh, but mm. that scent reminds me of my grandma. Oh. I don't. I don't know if she had a lotion or something that was similar to it. Right. Or if there's maybe some kind of flower or some kind of scent that's native to that. Place. I w- I don't know. I just. Uh, we should ask your mom or your dad. My dad, yeah. Because, um, hmm, interesting. Yeah. It's a little, you know what I like? I, I kind of like soapy. Yes, it Smells like yes. clean and soapy. And that's kind of. Not sure how they made this. But that's why I think I, there must have been like a lotion or something that she must have put on like fresh out of the shower because I'm getting. Yeah. Like your grandma? Oh, that's it sweet. Does. Because we're gonna funny. do um we're gonna do one in a few weeks that's an homage to the cologne that both of our grandfathers wore. Yes. But we don't have and a grandma. You know, it's one funny, yet. it was familiar to me. And she's been gone for a while, so I didn't really realize what I was smelling. Yeah. But yeah. just enough like, oh not no. Not that I... this is a grandma. Sam. No, 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 Hardly. not at all. Not Hardly. at all. She was a uh, feisty this little This does not thing, bring so. <laughs> visions of the producers, I no. will tell you that. There's something that's like early season. There's mystery to this. It's not just the flowers. It's not just the earth. Hold on. No. And you know, we. we I don't I, want to I, say I, citrusy, but it, there's another fruit or yeah, something. Yeah, if only they had published something on the website about this. Okay, from the website, <laughs> they have listed Coseca Catalana. I should have checked. Um, but Cat- Catalonian Harvest, Colita Calana. Was this is named okay. after? In Catalan, yeah, in in Catalan is a Mediterranean oh, fragrance yeah. inspired by a fall harvest. Oh, intriguing! Yeah, the shave soap also contains a hint of natural peach to signify the late fall Catalonian peach harvest. Oh, oh, here we go. Look, a new morning dawns as you set your mm. eyes upon a beautiful Mediterranean coastline. Yeah, how did we get that? We knew. Yeah, right? Do you smell a little bit of salt? A little bit. Maybe that's Just what I was hint. thinking of, like the fog. Interesting. Do you get the peach? Because I do now that you say it. Yeah, and I, that's why I, I, I knew there was some kind of fruity something, but I didn't know what. Yeah. Boy, so peach goes nice with flowers, Immediately, you are met with an intensely oh, aromatic... Don't tell her. Oh, <laughs> an intensely aromatic green and herbal aroma, highlighted by bright citrus. Hey. Traveling Ooh. inland, dry florals with herbal and Got woody that. accents. Got that. Totally. Draw you further into the sprawling countryside. Yeah. Wow, All this right. is the layers we were smelling. I got the peach. I don't know if I had the green as much, but we just did one that was really grassy. Right. So maybe so my maybe nose is still a little bit. I do stuck get the there. herbs, like almost like an herbal tea, but yeah. not tea. Uh, like what, you know, is made from. We're also learning how our nose responds to different things. So where's that EDP of theirs? Let's oh. see what this smells like. Grab it right there. Okay, here's the last sentence, though, before I forget. Oh, sorry. As evening approaches, you are greeted by the comforting warmth of creamy woods and oh. golden amber okay, that on. is earthy yet slightly sweet yep. and resinous. Do you do the drive-by? Gosh, it's funny. Every time I smell it, there's something different. Yeah, yeah. We were, we were talking the other day. I, I felt like I was almost being mean to a soap because I said it was one color, but that's not what I meant. I right, just it just meant didn't that like... It's fantastic and you don't have to dive deep to, to enjoy it. But this has super 
different layers to it. It does. Oh man. Oh, sorry, you got a little bit burp. Me. Okay. Let's uh Do let's I... break open this EDP and see if there's so one. It's discover. better if I throw it on my arm or yeah, something. Yeah, put it on your put it on your wrist. I think my other You might arm... take a few pumps just to prime it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's waking up here. Please okay. hold. There you go. Oh, oh it's going right. sideways. Oh. oh. <laughs> it went sideways. We're bad at this. Oh, please man. hold. Uh we spilled. There you go. Okay. Does that work? <laughs> Oh, it's way different. Give it a second. I mean, to dry. not not like. I can tell it's the same scent, but yeah, it's it's different. Oh, well, and against wow. the skin. Wow. Yeah, there's the flowers. Mm -hmm. Smell it. Woo! Yeah, it's funny. Certain oh. things of that brightened, like a, a really prominent here. Oh! But it's definitely the same base somehow. Yeah, it's the same smell. It's just a very different character. And Whoa. it's funny, I just always think of perfume and think of women. I know you don't have to, but it's funny. How dare you? It's funny, like aftershave, you know, EDP one. But, wow, there's a, there's like a fresh out of the shower smell, oh, too. Yeah. It's not just flowers. There's a, there's, the woods are in there. There it is. Ooh, woody. But like wet wood. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's different. It's so different. Now I get it. Well, and, and you know, we were talking to one of the artists who was like, chemistry is a weird dance partner. There are just going to be some things in the personality that grab onto the soap, and there's going to be some things that grab onto the EDP. And wh what's really cool about this world is that I might have a preference to the stuff that's in this, or I might have a preference to the characters that are in that. And I also feel like it reacts to my skin different. Yeah, like on right. on me versus in a soap, it's just a mm, way cooler, different layers. Yeah, this goes deeper into the woods. I almost smell in the combination like a powdery smell. Do you mm -hmm. get that too? I kind of smelled that more here. Ah, different noses. See, you tools. might have two people and then they smell the same soap and get two very different things. Wow. See, I smell so grounded in the earthiness and but and there it's the flowers in the woods. Wow. Can I take this deeper yet? Deeper still. Let's go. Yeah, it's right. funny, these these smell a little lighter. And if you I mean, they're like supposed us, to, but... EDP stands for Eau de Perfume, I think? Yes, Eau de Perfume. Which is the fancy way of saying this is a pure distillation of the fragrance, pretty yes. much. Yes. So, and it's meant to sort of be worn as a perfume or a cologne all day. Oh, you know what? Right? Now I don't smell the powder in there as much. I yeah. think I do. Right, because it's we're used to it in here It's now. funny. It's it's like a, a powder with woods. It's right, not just right. powder. I don't get powder. My I mean, scents are so relative, aren't they? Yeah. But I would definitely wear this. I don't. It's so you know different. I would but have it's never so from the description picked this up for me to wear. Yeah. Just because I would have thought that was something different. But right. now that I'm smelling it on me, yeah. I would definitely wear this. Yeah. And you know, we don't comment on leather, but uh, I'm gonna it's, comment it's a on quite leather. Quite a good little, little leather. Whoa! It's just fantastic. It's fun to leather. Also, um, all of the soap kind of jumped onto the brush right away. That's right. kind of cool. Yeah. Just to just comment a little bit on the soap. But yeah. Oh, but I, I do great. get the bright citrusy yeah. light. Yeah. yeah. And but, I get more here. This but is the definitely citrusy. more the floral, herby, yeah. woodsy kind Boy, of. Yeah, that's wild, huh? Let but me see. it's still bright. And you know what's, what's really cool? I would totally wear that. That's I don't feel like that has like. The woodsy balances it somehow. Yeah. And, and like the peach there is not like froofy peach, if that makes sense. Right. It's much more of an earthy. Right. And I, and I feel like if a dude's wearing that, you'll catch on to the woody part. And if you're wearing that, I'll catch on to the flower part first. And it's, it's very cool. It's a fall harvest. It's not, it's a, right. it's a place, it's that. a location. It's a fall harvest. This is not a summer scent, although our mm -hmm. California knows it's it, kind of like But even it says, like, the harvest. warmth of creamy woods and golden amber is an earthy yet yeah. slightly sweet and resinous. And right. that's totally. Oh, this is so. Clearly, fun. a lot of time was put into this scent. So we've got about a dozen now uh, yeah. shave soaps in our cabinet, and I don't think either of us walk by it without visiting one Taking of them. Taking a little a sniff by. I don't How know is this <laughs> different from everything else we've gotten so far? Because this is the first one that, that's used the word harvest. And right. somehow, I'm not sure why that resonates, but I, I get that. And I, I know a lot of the other ones we were trying to kind of do right now were a little more summery. And from the picture, I thought this would have totally fit, but it doesn't. It is yeah. a little more like fall. It is got that little uh, woodsy wood yeah. muskiness to it. And so I guess in that way of thinking, some of the other ones are a little sweeter 
if you could put it that way, yeah. that are more summery. Yeah. I do get a little more yeah. sweet. This, this, yeah, this is not like a like we, we did one that was kind of a cherry limeade. This is right. not that kind of no. sweet. This is and, a much more earthy. But it is still outdoors. For sure. Yeah, I, I never even got so much as a wall from this. this no. Is, this is outside. Let me smell your arm one time. It's so different. That hits me with the wood and the powder so hard. And this hits me with the rest of it so hard. But they're both there. They're all the same. Like, yeah. it's the same fragrance. I guess this but, could be wow. a little more evening if I had to pick. Oh, man. I don't want to say it's darker. But I would say that the EDP is a little more of like an evening vibe. Yeah. This is a little more like midday morning. <laughs> it's like coming to America. They're all Eddie Murphy. <laughs> you know but just in slightly different forms. It's fantastic. And just kind of shows off what they can each do. Yeah. Because I wonder if that's a part of it. There are certain things that a soap can do super well with a scent. Right. And so certain things that an EDP can do super well with a scent. Right. Oh, it's just so but fun I to keep think discovering. In order for you to understand this, you may just have to get your yeah, own. Yeah, you don't have to go to Spain. Get your own. So head over to their website at gentlemansnod.com where you'll find this and a wide range of other products. Well, I've had my shave and it was a wonderful shave. It was thick and luxurious and I'm starting to realize I like the combination of a thick hug but a nice glide to my face. I know I'm still really new to this, but oh, it was a really nice shave. For scent intensity, I'd give this a 2, 2.5. But for longevity, uh, a 3. And it really sort of came across too in the lathering. It got a bit stronger. I'd put it at a 3 there too. So yeah, thanks. It was really nice. <laughs> Welcome to messages. messages. So we have a special messages today because we have only been around for three weeks and unbelievably we are about to hit our 100th subscriber on YouTube and we could not be more grateful. Thank you so much. So, so in honor of that, yep. we have a giveaway. It's a giveaway. So your 100 names will be in here and we'll pick it out and you all have a chance to win from Sterling. Yep, we're going to give away to one lucky winner, a bag of Sterling coffee of your choice and a five point ounce shaving soap of your choice from Sterling Coffee. Compliments of the Barbershop Duet, and just a way for us to say thank you for all of the support and wonderful messages and comments. We and can't believe everything. we're at 100 subscribers, and it's only been not even a month. And we can't believe how wonderful this community is. I used to make piano software videos to review online, not like this, not like a yeah. show, just but here's what I wouldn't even be on camera, but just what the piano is. These people are so mean. I, Nobody said anything it. nice. No one. And here, everyone only says supportive things. Everybody and calls us and types to us and it, and just, I think, just shares our love of this world and these artisans and these people who just want to make our me time better and Truly. more connected. I mean, how often can you shave your legs and visit your dead grandma? <laughs> Good Lord, people. And so we want to thank, uh, we want to really thank Gentleman's Knot for, for Chris, sending yeah. us the thank EDP you. so we could experience this together. And he even threw in uh, a, an extra soap for us to look at on the show. So, so we he'll be, be coming doing, back. Uh, don't worry. Another Gentleman's Knot soon. Okay. Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. It's on Saturday, 9 o'clock. You'll smell better just watching it. Mm -hmm.